Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Happy, healthy, safe wherever you are in the world. I will actually probably maybe stop saying that soon, but today's not that day. Today's video is an upper body workout. It is chest and shoulders, maybe a little bit of triceps as well. I am in Lanzarote and the gym is really cool that we are going to now. I know gyms are back open in England big thumbs up that is incredible so you can do this workout in the gym predominantly it only uses dumbbells so technically it's a dumbbell only workout with bench press using a barbell so it's going to be a follow along workout i'm not sure if i'm going to do a voiceover or not yet you will decide and i might show you my wad as well which is workout of the day that's more like a circuit slash hit session it's kind of hit but you're kind of using weight so it's more like crossfit in a way, but I don't really do that much CrossFit. But I'm gonna take to the gym, it's a really cool gym, and I will see you there. So just a little insight, I've started to wear these travel bands that Kyle got me, because I get really, really travel sick. Everyone's asked what they do. I think they we decided that they just hit like a pressure point, because that white thing's like a, it's like a hard ball, I think, and it goes into like your your wrist. Wear them on both wrists, that's one not in the right place, and he's changed that. But yeah, they, cause they semi work, they actually semi work. Also sitting in the front of a car, help so Ben's been um, moved to the back seat so a lot of people have asked what it's like training with a mask on and I think because we've been here for like what like I think it's coming up to five weeks you get really used to it sometimes it drops down in a set like mid, mid squat and it's like oh yeah and you suck it in and it's just like dead dangerous. I, I personally would not want to wear a mask when training. I don't think it's very safe. Just because when you're exerting yourself to like the extent, like maybe doing like a wad or like heavy squats or hip thrusts or deadlifts, like I just don't think it's that safe. So I don't really like wearing them, but obviously they are mandate mandatory here in Spain. So we are wearing them. I don't think they're mandatory in the UK. I've not heard anything about that being mandatory in the UK. So fingers crossed we don't have to. I think you just have to wear them walking from kit to kit. We're gonna go in with a chest and shoulder workout no one is filming me today i'm just kind of doing this as a vlog and filming myself because you guys really enjoy those videos and i think they're a bit more natural as well so i'm going to be propping the camera up as and where i can and because i'm training on the roof you actually don't technically have to wear a mask for some reason so i'm just going to see how that goes your first exercise is barbell bench press if you are training at home or you don't have access to a barbell please just use dumbbells and do flat bench press. So there's a few things that I want to go over with you in terms of bench press. Firstly, you can probably notice the arch in my lower back and my scapula are retracted and this basically protects your shoulders. So a lot of people sometimes panic when you have that arch in your back because you don't usually do that when you train, but that is a vital component of the bench press. Now with your hand position, you want them wider than shoulder width grip. With your execution, your elbows should be close to the body and the bar to the lower chest. Lastly, you can't really see this on the video, but in terms of your foot position, try bringing your feet close to the body and the heels on the floor. So barbell bench press is your main compound lift in this session for your chest and it is a fantastic exercise to include. Moving on to dumbbell shoulder press. So I've dropped the weight a little bit here because we are doing 12 reps. We are in that hypertrophy range. If you would prefer to do strength training, drop your reps down to five for me. Keep your core nice and tight in terms of the extension of the elbows all the way up to the top. I pretty much want your dumbbells to touch. As you can see, this is pretty painful. Drop the elbows just below 90 and ensure that you're keeping your back in neutral. Your first superset is around the world in two press ups. Now with around the world, you do want to use a lighter dumbbell because as you can see here, you're doing a lateral raise into a front raise. One of the things to note is that you do need to keep your core nice and tight and a pretty strong stance in terms of your foot position because you don't want to be swinging around. We want to keep the focus on the shoulders at all times. As soon as you finish your around the world, we're going straight into press ups. So try and aim for 12 reps. If you can't do 12 reps, just drop down to your knees for me. Keep them nice and consistent. Keep that core tight. Keep that chest up. My head is actually dropped a little bit there. It should be a bit more in neutral. I have my width of my hands a little bit wider apart and I keep my feet relatively close together. 
Dumbbell lateral raises are my favorite exercise for the shoulders. I think they're such a fantastic exercise. And we're doing a drop set here. So you'll do 10 reps with a weight that you usually lift. And then you'll drop down into a weight that's lighter, but you're gonna go for failure reps. So I think I did eight kilograms into five kilograms, for example. With lateral raise, you wanna keep your traps relaxed. You don't wanna be using the traps to get the weight up. You want to be using your lats and obviously the lateral head of your shoulder again. Again, keeping your core nice and tight is essential when you are doing a lateral raise as it is with your foot position as well. Try and push through to truly going to failure. Your second superset is only three times and is a seated Arnold press into dumbbell flies. So with a seated Arnold press, you want the dumbbells to be brought in front of your face so they're facing you and then you push up and you turn your hands away from you. So it is like a shoulder press, except you're going for a slightly more functional movement. You will find that you will need to use a slightly lighter weight than you have with just a normal dumbbell shoulder press. Your second part of the superset is dumbbell fly. So I'm again using the same weight that I did for the Arnold press. What you want to focus on when doing dumbbell flies is again, you might have that arch in your back that's pretty normal, but that you are squeezing your little fingers together at the top of the movement. This is just gonna hit the top of your pecs a little bit more and just do make sure that those dumbbells reach at the top and you are reaching full range of motion throughout this whole exercise. There was a Zumba class on before, but I'm the only person up here now. I mean, you get dead hot. Um, well done if you're doing this workout as I'm doing it. Really good job. It is a tough workout. Like I said at the start, it is really dumbbell based. So if you are still training at home, you can still do this at home. So the first exercise where we use the barbell for the bench press, you could use dumbbells if you wanted to. Obviously, I was progressively overloading whilst doing that. So if you have equipment at home, obviously you can do that. If not, you can just do it in the gym. So with this workout, we've definitely hit more shoulders than chest. So with shoulders, we have your your front, your rear, which is here, and then your lateral head. So we're hitting all three points of the shoulder within this workout. We're just doing Arnold press into flies. So we're hitting chest and shoulders. And then your last exercise is going to be rear delt flies. Again, you don't need to lift heavy on that at all. Rear delt flies is more of like going through the movements and going through the motion. You can also do cable uh, face pulls, which is brilliant. But like I said, I want to just use, just use dumbbells. So let's crack on. Your last exercise is dumbbell rear delt flies. So you are going for a higher rep range. I'm using five kilograms here. It is the lightest weight I've used pretty much for the whole session. You wanna focus on pinning those shoulders back and trying not to use the traps too much. I think the rear delts are sometimes forgotten about, but they're such an important element to include. And obviously it's really helpful in terms of not hunching over. So I've finished shoulders. I've done one round of my wad and doing two rounds. I popped on Instagram last week so I got sweat in my mouth. My Instagram I'll pop on the screen for you and the workout is on as a reel. Definitely give it a go. It's incredible. I love doing wads. I love doing circuits like weighted circuits. They're like one of my favorite things to do. In terms of cardio that's kind of like all I really do like twice a week. I'll also go on a run if my knee's feeling okay in the middle of round two and I'm sweating but I am going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are in the world. Just support me as the world to me on YouTube. I'm getting back in my groove with it slowly so I hope you guys can bear with. Have a great day. I don't know why I just did that like you couldn't hear me. Have a great day, evening, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.